Well, let's head it back over to meteorologist Tamara Berg, and uh, we're done with the hundreds for a while, you know, I hope. Whew, the weekend was hot. Yeah, was. There was no way around it. I mean, 102 uh, yesterday, 105 Saturday. We all felt some sort of that heat yep. impact, especially during the weekend. Now we're going into a nice and comfortable start for your morning. I've got 60s and 70s that are breaking out right now for you. A live look with sunshine here over the valley, and this is your valley planner for the day ahead. We expect to have mainly sunny skies. We're at 65 right now out at Sacramento Executive Airport with a light with the light southwest wind. It's not doing a whole lot for relief for us right now. We'll push towards the mid 70s around 9 a.m. Upper 80s by lunchtime and highs today will peak in the upper 90s with the southwest wind staying pretty comfortable in that range of 5 to 15 throughout the day. Here's a view from Valley Springs. Good morning as you're joining us in the mother load. Temperatures are right now in the lower 70s. We'll hit the low 80s by 9 a.m. Daytime highs push towards the lower to mid 90s today in the foothills. And here is the view from the Sierra. Maybe you're plans take you out to the golf course. That's the view of North Star Golf Course this morning. Beautiful blue sky amongst the pines. 41 degrees right now in Tahoe. We'll be seeing daytime highs pushing into the lower 80s with a bit more of a southwest breeze picking up in the Sierra, especially later on this afternoon. What I'm watching on the satellite radar loop is I'm keeping an eye on some moisture that is just to our south because that moisture could steer up and over the Sierra within the next 24 hours. So on future casts, you'll notice that by tomorrow morning, it's going to look a lot different outside. We'll be covered in a layer of clouds, and you can see even in the mountains, a couple of showers trying to uh, break through there, especially areas south of Highway 50. Then a better chance later in the afternoon for some isolated showers and maybe a thunderstorm in the Sierra, especially along the Sierra Crest and especially along the eastern slope. Something I'll bear watching as we go into tomorrow afternoon. The other thing I'll keep an eye on as we head through the week is the change in our weather pattern. We're going to be noticing numbers going downward in terms of those daytime highs. Then as we get into next weekend, you'll notice we've got a cool system just to our north. That should really help to keep our temperatures close to average both for Friday and Saturday. Then once we get into Sunday, you'll notice that we've got this area of high pressure building back towards us. And then once we get into the start of July, which is officially next Monday, I'll be keeping my eye on more heat building, and that could present some hotter conditions for us, especially looking down the road to the 4th of July holiday. Again, I'll keep tabs on that for you over the next couple of days, but here's the numbers you need to see. Notice this, we have no triple digits in the seven day forecast. We have upper 90s. That's kind of the hottest part of our week is today. Cool breeze increases Wednesday, drops us back to the low to mid 90s right into the start of next weekend. So yeah, very pleasant. Not too bad for a mm -hmm. summer forecast. Right? We're all pretty good. Yeah. All right, thank you.